Hello, Professor Lovat. Um, week five, back again. Um, I hope you had a good week. It was very exciting at Cardinal Hall. We had our first little event. It was small, but it was really good to see how the whole process runs on a smaller scale. That way, when we have our big events coming up in March, we or I know a little better how to go about doing that. Um, so we actually had the University of Arkansas Housing um, come to our one of our event spaces called the classroom. Um, I think it was like a little meet and greet. They had hot chocolate and then um, the food was, sorry, the food was hot chocolate and um, pretzels with cheese, which looked so good. I had a bite at the end and it was really good. Um, so yeah, we went in and did the setup and we had about four round tables and then we had two um, square tables for the food and drinks to go on. And then throughout the event, it only lasted an hour, so it was really quick. Um, and then throughout the event, we just refilled the waters, cleared plates off as needed, and then afterwards did tear down, which ended up being very quick because there was three of us working and there's only a few tables and chairs. So we got through it pretty quickly, which was really good. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed doing that this week and then obviously just did more restaurant back waiting um, this past weekend, so that was really good. More experience, the better. Um, nothing crazy happened, just the regular weekend service um, and worked with a different lead server, Chris, who is normally just a, a waiter, but he did lead serving in the back. And then going off what the video was talking about this week um, and what Dr. Wei mentioned about um, your own personal GPS. I loved what um, Wally Doskal, I think is how you pronounce that, what she was talking about, super insightful and definitely thought provoking. Um, I feel like I took, it really it motivated me, honestly, um, I love what she was saying about how, like, leaders are made, they're not born, and they're not these people that we need to, they are people we can put on pedestals, but, you know, they're also, they just use the tools that they have um, to motivate people. So, for my own personal GPS, like, I found what she was talking about was finding, like, a set of values, um, and inner architecture and then finding out what's important to us. So I came up with three things that I found as my values. The first being integrity. I think that without honesty there, you can't have any kind of relationship with anyone, um, personal or work related. Uh, honesty is the number one thing um, to me. So that's my first value. My second value is communication. You have to be able to communicate with others clearly, respectfully, and well. Um, you just, if you don't have communication, then there's just going to be no kind of relationship. Um, and then the last one I have is consistency. I think showing up for work, putting in 110% effort, um, especially when in the service industry, there's no such thing as that's not my job, you know. You have to be consistent. You have to put in that time and that effort. Um, and then I also liked what you said about, you know, it has, it's, it comes from within, right? So to motivate other people, I need to figure out what decisions in the past I've made that motivate me and um, how those are gonna affect my decisions going forward. I need to know how I work to better motivate people, to to inspire them, to bring them a hope, um, so to speak. And, you know, I watch Kevin and he's really good. He's a very calm person and I think he has a lightheartedness about him. Um, same with Matt, you know, they're, I never see them get worried or stressed um, in most situations. And so they kind of bring this air about them that 
makes people respect them. And um, I definitely think respect is like a huge thing when it comes to being a leader. So yeah, I definitely will be more in tune to what motivates me and how I can motivate others um, as I continue forward in my internship. Thank you, I hope you have a great week.